guys are actually here and you're like, yeah, try this, try that, do this, do that. You're giving us tips. You're educating us on how it actually works. Gigabyte has reached out to us and they're like, hey, we kind of want to teach you guys how to build PCs. This is this something that you're interested in? And we're just like, I think that's something the overall community can benefit from. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Oris TV. I'm your host, Van. And I'm your co-host, Lindsay. So Lindsay, thank you for joining me. She's gonna be my new co-host moving forward. We kicked off Kate, she did a terrible job, and now we replaced her with someone much, much better. <laughs> so Lindsay, would you like to introduce yourself to our audience? Yes, uh, my name is Lindsay. I have been working at Gigabyte now for uh, two weeks. It's about two weeks now, yeah. Yeah, and I am um, Gigabyte slash Oris's new social media coordinator. So all the posts you're going to see from Facebook, from Twitter, from Instagram, it's all going to be made by Lindsay. So if you guys want to talk to her directly, just feel free to leave comments on our posts, and then she mm -hmm. can help reply to you guys. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, what else? Outside of working at Gigabyte, what else do you do? I am an avid gamer. Ooh. I game on. I game as a hobby. Uh -huh. So. What kind of games do you play? Right now, I'm playing Fortnite, mm -hmm. and um, before Fortnite, I was playing like a mix of Overwatch, PUBG, mm -hmm. and I used to be super competitive with Overwatch as well as wow. Counter Strike Global Offense. So those are all shooter games. So yes. you're like a shooting expert, right? I wouldn't say expert, but <laughs> I, I really like sh shooters. <laughs> what rank are you in, like CS? Um, well. <laughs> Right now, I'm uh -huh. a Gold Nova 2, but... Yeah, not bad, not bad, but pretty decent. My highest was a DMG. Oh, okay, so that's... Yeah. Hey, if you guys want to challenge her to a game of CSGO <laughs> or Fortnite, just leave a comment down below. We'll try to get something going on. Show match between Lindsay <laughs> versus the audience. <laughs> That would be interesting. So, Lindsay, <laughs> let's move on with the show. We mm -hmm. have a lot of different things to talk about today. Mm -hmm. Would you like to explain what's the first thing on the menu? Sure. Today, um, our first segment is called Bite of the Day. And for mm -hmm. today's bite, we'll be talking about Gigabyte's new bricks. And um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and for this, you, you can tell that she's new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, so for this segment, we'll be giving away uh, a new Oris T-shirt, one I'm wearing right now. She's got the new design. I've got the old crappy one right here. <laughs> I feel so unfair. <laughs> no. And we also have a new Oris hoodie, which is on my chair. I don't know if yeah. you guys can see that. You guys have seen this hoodie before, <laughs> and a lot of you guys have asked for it, so we're able to get another giveaway going for you guys, mm -hmm. Lindsay. How can our viewers win these t-shirts and hoodies? Well, you can, what you can, you have to do is share the Facebook post that we're streaming from and you can find the Gleam link in mm -hmm. the description box below and you could just click there and enter for any giveaways for yeah. today. Sounds really simple. <laughs> so again, if you guys want to enter, don't miss your chance. Uh, we're going to announce our winners next Friday on Facebook. So all you guys have to do is just enter, check, out back at, check back in on our page next Friday mm -hmm. for a chance to win. So let's move forward with Bricks. Um, Bricks, we have a very special guest joining us on today's show. He sits only a few cubicles away from us. We see him every single day, but it's his first appearance on this show. Let's welcome Howard. Hey, Yay. how's it going, guys? Hi, how's it going, Howard? Good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on today's show. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's see, an honor. I see really. you have a, some fancy pants piece of tech in front of you. Uh, yeah, so, well, at Gigabyte, I am the channel marketing manager. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I handle a lot of the, the stuff that you guys would see on like Newegg and uh -huh. Amazon. On the side, I also manage uh, the Bricks product line. So yes. that's kind of what I'm here to talk to you guys about today. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, Bricks, can I ask you, what is a Gigabyte Bricks? Well, a Bricks, as you guys might, well, as the name might suggest, right, it's a, mm -hmm. it's a mini PC, basically. So kind of imagine a, a full-size PC mm -hmm. that we kind of shrunk down mm -hmm. and then into this form factor for you to use. So it can still do everything that a normal PC can do, mm -hmm. but just at a much, much smaller profile. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's good for kind of like office work, you know, even like if you want to do some media editing, it can run Photoshop, Illustrator. So good for the office. Mm -hmm. um, we actually all use it 
in our <laughs> at work. It's our office basically. piece. It is. Yeah, yeah, it, it <laughs> is. Like, we're all running it. I mm -hmm. think some of our video guys they do some basic video editing with it too. So right. it's a pretty versatile piece of uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. Especially like since it's so small. Like yeah. um, so when I first got here, I was wondering like you know what is this thing like <laughs> sitting on my desk like. Mm -hmm. And I powered it up, and I was surprised. Like, you know, I have, I have Photoshop on here. I have Illustrator. You know, I have all the all the uh, Adobe uh, suites as well that cool. I could run on this. And it's been uh, it's been honestly like the same as using a computer. So I was really surprised to find that out. Like a lot of our fans may not know we we have something like this, mm -hmm. and I don't blame them because it's a pretty low key thing yeah. as, as it should be. You know, <laughs> um, but but yeah, it's actually a really useful uh, system actually yeah. that uh, that you can use so yeah. you mentioned a pretty good point most of our fans know us more for like our gaming hardware right yeah but yeah. we make kind of more products outside of that um, so bricks could be good for like again office use and I think Howard has a couple right. other ideas on where <laughs> best to put this uh, bricks at uh, well it can fit in a lot of places like first of all um, this visa mountable, mm -hmm. so you know if you don't have a monitor stand already, you can kind of mm -hmm. hook it to the back of your monitor, or you can like kind of go in like a garage if you need a media player for you know whatever hobbies you're doing in there. Mm -hmm. You can put it in your home theater, like right below where the cabinets are. Mm -hmm. It's it's so small that you know it can, a lot of times you can hide either behind the screen yeah. or you know somewhere convenient for you mm -hmm. to access, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see the use cases having such a small footprint, right? Because it's so easy to carry around, so easy to kind of just like tuck it away yeah. and forget about it. But I think there's still a lot of performance to be had inside the bricks, right? Right. Can you share us some of the specs inside of um, that machine right there? Okay, sure. So Gigabyte has had the bricks for a long time now. Yeah. So, you know, we have a lot of different ones actually, you okay. know, um, ranging from like, I think, like the fourth generation uh, Intel processors, mm -hmm. but this one in particular is one of the new ones that we came out uh, uh, that came out this year. So this one has a uh, Coffee Lake refresh CPU, so an i7 mm -hmm. 8550U processor. Wow! Not only so, if you go around the uh, the outside, right, you'll see you know there there are USB ports in the back as well as you know Display Port and also oh not display port a mini dp and also mm -hmm. hdmi as well cool kensington lock all that kind of stuff on the front we have usb type c microphone and headphone jack and another usb uh, i think this one's a type a connector wow. so there's a lot of connections um, on the inside though uh, once you open this up mm -hmm. basically you will find a dim slot or a uh, m.2 slot so we have two different versions one is about a little bit thicker Mm -hmm. Then the other version is a little bit thicker than this one. That one can fit a 2.5 inch SSD in it. Mm -hmm. So if you need additional nice. storage, you know you can go for that one. Nice. And then for the RAM or uh, memory, it takes a SODIMM. So it takes a DDR4 SODIMM, and that's pretty much all it takes. Um, so you can kind of plug in like whatever configuration you want in terms of yeah. storage, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's actually well, I kind of want to clarify. Many PCs usually are they come bare bone. What that means is that the uh, we give the options or give the user the option to kind of configurate their own system, yeah. and it's super easy. Like even even you know my parents can do it honestly. Like all you have to do is kind of unscrew the uh, the four screws are right here, mm -hmm. the sticks of RAM, everything. If you guys can see it, um, you just jam it in there, and then your storage would just go connect to this basically. Yeah. That's it. Can Lindsay yeah. and I take a closer look at that? Of course. Of course. Cool. Yeah, check this out and that's actually pretty compact mm -hmm. yeah for the viewers out there let's point it this way so yeah that's really cool you get Howard was mentioning we have the RAM slots right here mm -hmm. that takes what two slots they had two slots of RAM in here there is two slots yeah oh perfect so you mm -hmm. can run your modules in dual channel mm -hmm. I have a very important question What's can it? I game on this <laughs> <laughs> she's the gamer she wants yeah. to play some Fortnite on like, this <laughs> Oh uh, well, I yeah, you can actually game on this as well. Cool. Um, it does have Intel integrated graphics, so oh, um, wow. I wouldn't say like you can run like everything on high graphics. Mm -hmm. We do have another version of the bricks that has a discrete GPU inside of it. So that Which GPU is in that one? It has a I think it's a 1060 inside of wow. it. So okay, you can definitely run games on that one for Sweet. sure. Uh -huh. This one in particular though, you can still run games. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can run like Hearthstone. I'm pretty sure you can uh, run like okay. like you know Heroes of the Storm or something okay. on you know regular settings like and everything. Like gaming tasks. Like gaming, like tasks. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I think the 
best part about this is kind of like the multitasking ab capabilities. So, okay. you know, you can have a lot of stuff open at the same time. Oh, wow. Like I work, right? I would oh, have, yeah. you know, Photoshop open, you know, you know Chrome, Adobe, mm -hmm. you know, Outlook, everything open at once, still run it just fine, oh, like surprisingly. So sweet. still really powerful machine. Um, but you and you can game on it. And you can game on it. That's <laughs> so like, that's like one, one window, <laughs> yeah. stone open the other. Exactly. Multitasking exactly. right there. But right? not at work though. <laughs> oh, yeah, only, of course, only work. Definitely not. We only work here at Gigabyte. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No play. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um what about in terms of driving monitors? Can this like support 4K displays? Can it do like ultra wide displays? Uh, it could, I mean, you can kind of like daisy chain it if you want to do multiple displays. Definitely. So if you want to go like four displays, you can do that. Mm -hmm. It does support, uh, it has native uh, 4K UHD. Wow. So it's, it does support 4K to some, to some extent. Yes. So yeah, everything that, like I said, everything you get on a regular system, uh -huh. you can pretty much get on this as well. Wow. So, I know a cool. lot of our viewers are like, they they ask for like 4K content. Yeah. So maybe like this machine could be good for like you know, maybe Netflix, right? Yeah. Playing 4K Netflix or playing 4K YouTube videos on yeah. it. Because um, I think at home right now I'm using like a Nintendo Wii U. It's like my yeah. Netflix machine. <laughs> it's like 720p. It's like a piece of crap. But I think that's it, that makes a pretty solid upgrade from what yeah. I have. Yeah. Totally. Like if you're using a PlayStation, for instance, like. Uh -huh. You know, you can't do some of the stuff a regular PC can do on a PlayStation. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. more like a media player. Yeah. This one, you can like, you know, you can do Netflix, all that kind of stuff. And you can do other stuff too. You can mm -hmm. even run some like Steam games if you want to, you know, do some work on the TV. Yeah. yeah. It's you really flexible. I thought of, that's actually good for like indie games, right? Because there's a yeah. lot of like indie games that aren't really too graphically demanding, yeah. but they still have like great gameplays and great stories. Yeah. So yeah, maybe yeah. the Bricks is a good option for people who like indie games. Yeah, no, you could say that. I mean, it's good for a lot of reasons. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and we have a different version kind of for every usage. Mm -hmm. So like I mentioned before, we had the uh, Intel Core i3, i5, i7 versions yeah. for a lot of the different chipsets that, that's out there. Mm -hmm. We also have like Celeron versions, Pentium versions. So if it's just for like, they're a lot cheaper, but they also, you know, they can still do a lot of the, the grunt work that you, you would need from like an office PC. Mm -hmm. So. Different so price like, ranges for different applications, depending on yeah what type of uh, reason you want to get this for. Okay, mm. yeah. so it's like a whole lineup of products. That's yeah, pretty cool. That's cool. If you were to choose one, which one would you choose? <laughs> you know, the best one, the one where you can game on without the uh, i7 model, of course, yeah. of course. <laughs> what about yourself? Which one? Which one stands out to you? I like the uh, one, the 1060 inside of it. Mm. Uh, I think Linus did a video on a review on that one. Mm -hmm. Like he compared it to like. I think it was like a milk jug or milk carton for a gaming PC. It all was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I remember yeah. that video. Yeah, yeah. He was just drinking chocolate milk while reviewing our product. Oh. I think that was like really like bad for his health or something like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> drinking a whole jug. That's yeah. pretty crazy. I mean, I, I like gaming too, but probably not as good as Lindsay, honestly. But you know, I I I, I, I dig. I could dig the uh, the good graphics behind you know yeah. any game. Yeah. That's so cool. for the 1060 one, yes. that would make a great gift for like my mom or dad, right? Because they yeah. only do, you know, they only run like Microsoft and like watch Netflix and the K dramas. So yeah, it would be, it'd make, a, it'd make for a really nice like parents gift. Oh, yeah. perfect. But I would recommend all the other ones too. Oh, yeah. Wow. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So for the bricks, is this a product? Well, the, the latest eighth generation one. Is it a right. product that's available on the market today? It is. So I think you can find both of these on Amazon cool. uh, right now. I don't know if we have like links or anything in the stream for people to find. But um, um, basically, if you guys are you know confused, it's mm -hmm. we always name it like GB dash B something. Mm -hmm. So you just type in those three those three key letters. Mm. They'll pop up for sure. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Um, and we, right now for the eighth generation, we only have the i5 and i7 versions available, uh -huh. as well as the Celeron too. Okay. Uh, they run about like the Celeron's about like 140 bucks bare bone. Oh, pretty affordable. Not bad. Yeah. yeah Not yeah, bad. Honestly. 140 bucks. Yeah. That yeah, can take care I of could like, it. <laughs> like you can get that to like maybe like a kid like have it as his. Gateway drug into PC building. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, not drug. I mean, gateway, you know, like experience into PC building. Yeah. Kinda just yeah, like exactly. tinker with it at first and then right. kind of grow up from there, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can kind of, you kind of well, need to understand the basics of a computer, how to build a PC to do this. Uh -huh. mm. Like, very basic. Yeah. Yeah. It's very beginner friendly, honestly. Okay. And then uh, the i5 and i7 versions are like, 
three hundred or four hundred bucks mm. bare bone. Yeah. So then adding like you know uh, storage and memory is probably another hundred bucks. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. affordable yeah. for yeah. again like having such a versatile and small package. Yeah. Right. Right. You can do a ton of stuff with that. Yeah. Like people who live in apartments, you know, don't have that much space. Mm -hmm. Like this can be a perfect like type of media player for you. Yeah. Um, if you're in college and you're in your dorm, you know, yeah. everything's always so messy. It's <laughs> packed. Like you can easily fit that under your desk. Think about this, right? Like you have, imagine having a full tower PC in your dorm. Like that's gigantic. You know, mm -hmm. it takes up so much space. You know, it might be loud. Like this is very low profile, mm -hmm. and you can do all the other stuff that you want it to do. Mm -hmm. That full system, or that you would do on a full system, basically. Mm. I see. I see. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. So, yeah. well, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. So, um, for the viewers out there, um, while we still have Howard on the channel, now is your time to ask him questions about the Bricks product. He's like our in-house resident Bricks expert, so he has like a lot of information about it. So, again, if you guys have questions, leave it down below, and we'll try to answer them um, probably in like the next five or ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let me look through the comments, see what you guys have to talk about. People were asking us about how to enter the giveaway. Lindsay, would you like to uh, yes. remind Yes, our them? giveaway uh, link is on our Facebook official page. Uh, so um, you can look at the description. It's kind of like, you know, yeah, the description box below <laughs> the video. And then there is a link and then it says Gleam. You click on that and enter. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's really simple, easy to enter. Mm -hmm. So again, make sure you enter into this giveaway. We're giving out, um, well, right now we're giving out a t-shirt mm -hmm. and a hoodie. And a hoodie. So pretty cool prizes. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have a comment from one of our viewers, Justin B. He's actually talking about the 1060 bricks. Mm -hmm. um, he thinks it's not a bad setup. Mm -hmm. Six gigabytes of DDR, six gigabytes of VRAM on the graphic card. So it's a pretty powerful setup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? it's not bad at all. Yeah. Like it's. Surprising how we packed everything into yeah. that thing, into that like milk carton, basically. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, how's the cooling on it? I think that's the question that a lot of viewers have. Like, mm. is is the cooling system able to properly keep everything in control? It should. It should ideally. Um, like when you run it for a long time, it might heat up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Well, as a case in like any small form factor PC, even like you know. Um, micro ATX to mini ITX systems, they yes. tend to have more restricted airflow. Yes. So that is that is something to think about, but it shouldn't run too hot at all. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, okay. okay, that's good. That's good. And a 1060, as far as I'm aware, that's able to run VR, right? Yeah, VR machine, basically. Yeah, like a that that that's perfect for like a living room entertainment PC. Yeah, play exactly. 4K Netflix, play uh, VR, yeah. while at the same time doing some spreadsheets on the side. <laughs> I don't yeah, know, I don't in know. your scores and stuff, I guess. Dude, yeah. yeah, exactly. And a uh, shout out to everyone who uh, knows who owns a Bricks. Yeah, nice. For you. Yeah, yeah, you guys made good choices. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have another comment from one of our viewers, mm -hmm. Nick C. He says he agrees that this is a great idea for parents. It's something that they don't have to mess around with too much. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, like a PC can be kind of daunting, and yeah. using one is another case. But I mean, setting it up and everything, like uh -huh. you know, got to think about like all the other ports that's on the PC compared to this thing. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like, I know for one, like um, my mom has one of these, and like she, you know, it's very easy for her to use. Like, just power it up. And does everything basically. Yeah, it's yeah. really like really straightforward. I think yeah. Gigabyte took care of most of the complex stuff. Mm -hmm. It's like all you gotta do is just plug in like SSD and RAM and then you're good, right? Yeah, that's it basically. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. That's it. Um, we have a question from Brian V. He asked, mm -hmm. but can it run Minecraft? Minecraft, dude, I think even your phone, <laughs> or like whatever, can run Minecraft. So yeah, it can run. We can run Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. that, he's yeah. asking the important questions here. <laughs> no, that's a very important question. Thank you for asking that. Dude. Um, Our viewers have their priorities, man. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a solid game, you know? Yeah. Solid game. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, Howard, I think that wraps up this segment. Thank you so much for explaining all about the bricks for us. Um, yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. We're, actually, if they want to find out more about this stuff, where can they learn more? Where can they learn more? Yes. Uh, well, we have a website, uh, bricks.gigabyte.us. Cool. You can check out uh, kind of like the features and stuff mm -hmm. of all the, our selections on that website. Yeah. Also, like on Amazon and Newegg, 
uh, if you just type in Gigabyte Bricks, there should be a lot of selections available. Nice. Cool. So yeah. you guys heard it from Howard. If you guys want to learn more, just follow his suggestions, and you'll find out all about the Gigabyte Bricks. Mm -hmm. So Howard, thank you again for joining us on today's show. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you after the live stream is over, <laughs> a few cubicles away. <laughs> yeah. Peace out. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. It's yeah. Fun. No problem, man. Yeah. All right, Lindsay. Yeah. So. Now that we talked about the bricks, mm -hmm. I think it's time to share our next giveaway prizes. What do you think? Yes, that sounds like a good idea. So what's next on the item list for giveaways? Well, our second giveaway are going to be our Aorus M3 mics. Which I think Lindsay right has here. one. I got the box right here. <laughs> this is the latest and uh, most recent Aorus gaming mouse. Mm -hmm. Um, Lindsay is a professional FPS player, so she knows all about the importance of having a good mouse. Mm -hmm. um, what are some things that stand out to you about this mouse? This mouse is actually really good. I've played it at my, I've used it at my desk. <laughs> Dude, she plays Fortnite at her desk all the time. I see. I sit right next to her. I'm like, I'm looking over. Like, it's Fortnite. No. I hear gunshots coming through her headset. No, no uh, <laughs> but it's a great my mouse. So. <laughs> She's trying to change the subject. <laughs> Um, it has RGB, of which course. is awesome, and you can RG customize it through our internal software. RGB Fusion. Yes. So, and it's pretty like it fits really well, mm -hmm. and like my, I have I have really small hands, so yeah. like it it it's really comfortable, and when I play, use uh, <laughs> I uh, it's really smooth the movement, so mm -hmm. like. Yeah, it's, it's really a pretty good. solid mouse. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, what else are we giving away alongside the M3? We are also giving away AMP500 mouse pad. Yes. We're going to give it away in combination with the mouse. Correct. So it's going to be a bundle item. Unfortunately, we don't have the mouse pad here to show you guys. But mm -hmm. if you guys want to check it out, you can visit the Gleam page, right? I think we have an yes. image of it there. Or you can check it out on the Gigabyte website where we have like the exact dimensions. Mm -hmm. so you guys can see it can fit on your desk and, and, and you know whatnot. Yeah. Um, so, having mm -hmm. introduced this mouse, let's move on with the show. Mm -hmm. What do you want to talk about next, Lindsay? Uh, well, we can talk about the latest tech slash game news. Mm -hmm. So, um, trending right now. Yes. Since you <laughs> are like our resident in house expert gamer, <laughs> how about we start off with game news? Okay. What's um, new in terms of games? Well, um, Season 5 started not too long ago. Season 5 of? Fortnite! Fortnite! Duh. This is for all you <laughs> Fortnite gamers out there. Yeah. Fortnite, Fortnite bandwagoners. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, kind of. Season 5 started and a whole bunch of updates came along with it. But the major update mm -hmm. um, was this week's patch. Fortnite is actually celebrating their one year anniversary as a game. So everything is super festive. The mm -hmm. Battle Bus's balloon is like super <laughs> colorful, makes you happy. And throughout the map, you can find cake that heals five health and five shield. So it's like, literally, it's a treat. Wow, nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Dude, like whenever I play Fortnite, I think I'm lazy. So I always like totally ignore like the apples and the mushrooms yeah, and all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> Looks like I gotta start picking up these cakes now. Yeah, they're actually a good way to top off and have full health. So, mm -hmm. like, always on the lookout for the mushrooms and apples. That's good. Mm -hmm. Any uh, gameplay or any changes in terms of gameplay? Yes. The building is now easier to break. So, the walls, the ramps, they're actually easier to shoot down. So, they're weaker with this patch. It's kind of uh, like a nerf to like all the builders out there. Yeah, right? it's so. going to be a little bit harder to like shield yourself from incoming fire. Yeah, you have to be quick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, there's a new gun that was released. It's shaped like a P90. I don't know if any of you guys know what a P90 is. Uh, it's I an this, SMG. Yeah, the CS:GO players okay. probably know what it is. Okay. And well, Call of Duty players as yeah, well. Yeah. So it's a. It's a OP gun in my opinion, it, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's you could use it long range, and usually SMGs is like they're more of short range guns, and the rate mm -hmm. of fire is high, and damage is good. So right now, I'd rather have an SMG than an AR. So it's like as long as you can just aim properly, mm -hmm. that you're probably better off with the SMG. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. You just you just gotta have good aim. Yes. <laughs> so that's where this thing comes in handy. Yes. Shameless plug-in. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely not sellouts here. <laughs> so uh, yeah, anything else for Fortnite, or is that kind of like 
that's anything. kind of it. Like season five's been out for a while, so um, yeah. So. Yeah. Ooh. I know uh, Lindsay's been itching to stream some Fortnite on our channel, so if there's interest from the viewers out there, maybe um, she can schedule some time to kind of just play on the, uh, or stream, and mm -hmm. kind of like demonstrate her skills to you guys. She, she's actually really good. I've seen her play some games firsthand. She, she's uh, really, really good. It's quite intimidating, actually. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. Bad. So. Since you talked about game news, mm -hmm. I kind of want to talk about something tech-related. Okay. Um, related to our external GPU, I know we've brought this out on the show a couple times before. This mm -hmm. is the 580 gaming box. Mm -hmm. But we have a new competitor um, who just announced theirs, like, what, two weeks ago? It's Apple and the Blackmagic Design eGPU. Huh. Okay. That one has an RX 580 inside of it as mm -hmm. well. Same thing as ours. Mm -hmm. It connects through Thunderbolt 3, mm -hmm. same as ours. Mm -hmm. It has additional USB ports, which is same as ours. Mm -hmm. But since it's a product from Apple, they're charging double the price compared to ours. <laughs> There's 800 versus 400 bucks for this for the exact same capabilities. Yeah, it's I like, it's ridiculous. Oh, Apple. <laughs> I know, that, that's like a clear case of Apple tax, right? Yeah. You're paying more for, like, I mean, the design is nice. The design mm -hmm. is nice, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But is it really worth the 400 bucks extra for it? No. Definitely not, it's crazy. I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, and I've been kind of checking out like YouTube reviews out there, and again, the product performs fine, the product performs well, um, well Blackmagic's product. Mm -hmm. um, but again, it's just, this thing is half the price and does the same thing. Yeah. So people are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. True. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think you guys have seen this product before. It's been selling pretty hot on Amazon and Newegg. It's the 580 RX 580 Gaming Box external GPU. It plugs in through Thunderbolt 3. So there's just some news that I wanted to share with you guys as well as to Lindsay that, mm -hmm. you know, their Gigabyte, we do offer the same solution for a much cheaper price. So just kind of I encourage you guys to do your research before purchasing this stuff. And if you guys know anyone who's interested, let them know not to buy the Black Magic thing because that's a rip off, a total rip off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let me put this thing away. Mm -hmm. And I have one more special thing to talk about. I know this is something that you guys have been asking for. Ta-da! Oris P7 RGB mouse pad. I don't know if you guys can see that. We just got our first sample in from our headquarters in mm -hmm. Taiwan, um, so they just shipped this to us. Um, the product's not for sale yet. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. be you guys too excited, but mm -hmm. it should be available within like what, maybe two to three weeks. Sounds about right. Yeah, but we'll have a more official announcement mm -hmm. on like our social media websites, um, and then when it's available, you guys can probably find it on Newegg and Amazon.com. Um. So. Let's take this P7 mouse pad out of the box so we can show our fans mm -hmm. exactly what it is. Take the box. Thank you, thank You're you. You're welcome. Yeah, so out of the box, we, we have the mouse pad itself right here, and then it attaches via a detachable micro USB cable. And I don't know if you guys can take a closer look, but that thing's actually braided. So that's good in terms of durability, mm -hmm. right? Because it just allows your cable to be a little bit stronger than nice. traditional cables. Let me plug this into my laptop. Let's show you guys the RGB action. So yeah, the USB port is just going to be on the top. Just kind of simple plug and play. And there you go. You guys see it? It lights up. Ooh, who it's doesn't like RGB? Yeah, I know, right? It's kind of hard <laughs> to see due to our studio lights, but this thing's actually really vibrant in person. Oh, that's, I think the camera's facing you this time. Yeah. Dude, yeah, check that out. Oh, it's pretty wow. cool. So again, this thing is going to be available within two to three weeks from today, um, but we'll have an official announcement on our social media pages. So keep checking back to our page, and we'll have something um, official to share with you guys mm -hmm. um, soon. Also related to another product announcement, mm -hmm. um, Oris RAM. I know you guys have been asking about that, and I know we've been kind of teasing it for a while, but we finally have a set date in mind for Ooh. Oris RAM launch. Um, it's going to be August 10th. Yeah. August 10th. So you guys heard it here. If you guys are interested in purchasing Aorus RAM, you can probably find it on Newegg and Amazon on August 10th. Mm. So there we go. Nice. <laughs> All right. Okay. So 
I think that wraps it up for tech and game news, right? Yes, it does. You want to do one more quick reminder on what prizes we're giving out so far? Yes. So for after the first segment, uh, we said we're going to be giving away our Oris t-shirt along with our Oris hoodie. Mm -hmm. And uh, for our second, there are M3 mice along with the AMP 500. Which we don't have the box right now, but yeah. you guys can tell we're holding it up in here. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> yes. So how can they enter into these giveaways? Um, the Gleam link will be in the description box on our Facebook page. So um, our, we're live on Facebook right now. And under the description, there's a link. And just click on Gleam and enter. Super simple, mm -hmm. super easy to enter. Yep. And we're going to announce the winners next Friday on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. Next Friday is going to be what, August, August 3rd? 3rd? Yes, yes, August 3rd. So. We'll have an announcement on our social media pages. Just mm -hmm. visit to see if you guys want. Mm -hmm. um, so having said all of that, I think uh, Lindsay and I are going to go on a short commercial break. We're going to have one more activity to do after commercial. So you guys definitely do want to stay tuned for that. Mm -hmm. And also we're going to have one more big giveaway. Yes. So we'll announce that right after commercial break. So we'll see you guys soon. University of California Riverside. We're here at Citrus Hack 2018 as a proud sponsor of this event. Let's check out all the great stuff at this show.
not always play games, but when I do, I use Aurus X470. Dare to defy, my friend. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Aurus TV. I'm your host, Van. And I'm your co-host, Lindsay. So we just got back from commercial break, so just for those of you who are tuning in halfway, Lindsay is our my new co-host for this show, mm -hmm. so you guys will see a lot more of her in the future. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, would you like to introduce yourself to our newer viewers? Yes, um, I started working here at Gigabyte two weeks ago now, and I am the social media coordinator. So all the posts you see on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, will be from me. It's going to come through her. <laughs> so if you guys want to talk to her directly, all mm -hmm. you guys got to do is just comment on our Facebook post, our social media post, and mm -hmm. she'll help reply with any questions mm -hmm. or take any uh, feedback or su suggestions you guys have. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. So, Lindsay, we talked about Bricks. Mm -hmm. We talked about Fortnite news. Mm -hmm. We talked about Black Magic. Black Magic's uh, overpriced GPU. <laughs> uh, yep. We also showed off our new Aorus P7 RGB mouse pad, mm -hmm. and we confirmed a launch date for the Aorus RAM. Mm -hmm. What's next for today? Today we are going to be moving on to our next segment, mm -hmm. which is rate my battle stations. Nice. So, Throughout the, I'm sure you guys have realized um, throughout the couple weeks that uh, I've been here, um, I've been asking you guys to submit pictures of your battle station, and we picked the top six that we felt like were the most interesting. And yeah, yeah. And so yeah. yeah, we just have a couple battle stations sent from you guys, our community. Um, so we're just gonna kind of pull them up on the screen right now, so mm -hmm. you guys can see what your fellow community members have submitted and we just want to share our inputs on it. Yeah. So, Lindsay, this is the first one we have, right? Yep. This was submitted by Brandon P. via Facebook. Cool. So, wow. What are your first impressions on this setup? You look like you're in the shooters, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, like I see, like, I see a, a, a Master Chief helmet mm -hmm. from Halo. I see Titanfall 2 helmet. I mm -hmm. see Titanfall 2 robot as mm -hmm. well. And it's like what a Gears of War mm -hmm. gun model? That's a huge gun. Yeah, jeez, that's pretty cool. Mm. And that guy plays. Is that, is that PUBG? No, it's not PUBG. It's I don't think so. Battlefield? Maybe Battlefield. I haven't played Battlefield in a while. No, I'm a little bit unfamiliar that. with the game. <laughs> but yeah, dude, it looks like this game. This guy is like pretty, pretty into shooters. Mm -hmm. And like, what do you think yeah. about his computer setup? Well, I like the lighting. Oh. I see you're using a gigabyte GPU. Ooh, nice choice. <laughs> nice. That's totally not the reason why we chose no, you. No, no, it's not. Um, <laughs> we chose but, you because of the nice decorations yeah, and everything. Yeah, I like that. It really gives that, you know, feel that you are truly a gamer. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> yeah. And I like how he's color coordinated the gigabyte LED logo with his cables. Do you see those green cables yeah. that are going to his motherboard mm -hmm. and graphics card? Mm -hmm. I don't know if those are like green cables or like white with green reflections on it. Do you have a black light in your case? I don't know. Or I don't like, know. Oh. But it looks really nice yeah, though. Yeah, I like it a lot. Ah. Definitely. And mm -hmm. I like how he has a two monitor setup going on. Mm -hmm. um, his main monitor looks like it to be a ultra wide setup. Mm -hmm. I'm actually using an ultra wide myself at home. Oh. A 20, 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Oh, okay. Once I went to ultra wide, I cannot go back. Oh. I hate the standard 16 by 9 ratio. It's like too small <laughs> for me. So. I can only use the bigger setups yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I've always wondered about the ultra wide because I don't want to play and go like have to move my <laughs> body to. Yeah. Shoot. I want to just move my head. So like. Um, I'll that, admit it's yeah. probably not the best for like a pure gamer. Uh, um, because when you're playing games, some games only support 16 by 9 format, uh -huh. so you get those black bars on the side. Oh. But if you're looking to do like multitasking oh, okay. you can pull like two windows side by side kind of like what I have right here oh okay and it's like it's really nice because you have so much room nice. basically it's like scrap um, pushing together squeezing together two monitors mm -hmm. into one oh, so wow. it's, it's just kind of for convenience Sweet. yeah oh, Wow. so Brendan's setup awesome setup man thank you so much for submitting it mm -hmm. um, what do we have next our next submission was by Derek M and he submitted this a picture of his battle station via Facebook as well yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the colors on this. I do too. Green and blue. You can tell you're a streamer. Let's see the mic setup. Yeah. I like it. The microphone <laughs> arm, mm -hmm. triple monitors, mm -hmm. probably one to play game, one mm -hmm. to check your 
your chat window, <laughs> one for OBS. That. Yeah. And uh, you know his green and blue light. Mm -hmm. It's like on the wall, mm -hmm. but he's also coordinated it with the PC it set up itself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like these color coordinated uh, builds, these yeah. setups. I like it too. It's fancy. Can you see what type of hardware he's using? I can't see it. But <laughs> it's a little bit small from yeah, here, but I, can't, but I mean, it looks like to be a pretty powerful setup to power three monitors like yeah, that, right? Yeah. Cool, three monitors. Cool. I like it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. So that's the submission from Derek M. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for submitting. Thank you. Moving on to our next submission. This was submitted by Kyle H via another Facebook submission. Where's and his PC? Oh, it's right there at the top. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. All the way up there. Yeah. Uh, he's using an Aorus GPU. <laughs> hey, nice. And is that, I think that's an Aorus motherboard as well. Oh. If you can look close, you can kind of make out the Falcon logo oh, right I there. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's got RGB RAM. Nice. Mm -hmm. That looks like to be an X299 motherboard. Because if you notice, there's RAM on the left and right of the CPU. Oh, wow. Looks like eight channels. Wow. That's only supported in the higher X models. Nice. We're doing some investigation work right here. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Trying to identify exactly what he has. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. I do like the way he set up his monitors, though. Yeah, me too. I really like that. Like, um, I always wanted to have like a. F I have three monitors as well, and mm -hmm. I always wondered where I could put like my fourth monitor because it'd be useful. Um, and here's it. Here it is, right here. Yeah. It, it's, it looks really like really clean, and I really like it. Yeah, he probably has a monitor arm to kind of raise it up above mm -hmm. the rest and mm -hmm. kind of just hold it up there. Yeah. So. It kind of looks like um, Kyle H is also a streamer, right? Is that yeah. OBS that's open? See OBS, and then I see a second set of keyboards, which means you have a streaming PC and a gaming PC, Ooh. and you use a capture card nice. to stream. Nice. <laughs> she's, she's a professional because she's <laughs> actually a streamer. She streams a lot of, what, Fortnite? Um, yeah, Fortnite lately, and then I stream the most, like, Counter-Strike, and then Ooh. back in the day, I streamed, like, I stream Mario Maker on the oh, Wii U. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so that was that fun, Mario fun times. Yeah. yeah, so Lindsay knows all about the streaming setups. <laughs> That's why she chose all the streaming setups to be featured on today's <laughs> TV. That's what I feel like, I'm right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I also like this guy's mm -hmm. setup, his main monitor, like the PUBG monitor. It's an ultra-wide monitor, mm -hmm. that ultra-wide life. Mm -hmm. He's made the right choice. I'm an ultra-wide yeah. uh, fanboy. <laughs> oh, should probably have to know ultra-wide. We'll yes, see. you should, you should. Thank you for your submission, Kyle H. Mm -hmm. And moving on to our next, uh, our last Facebook submission. <laughs> oh, dude, what is this? I, <laughs> I like it, you know. Is that an HP laptop? Yeah. And, what the? You know, uh, he's, you know, his setup, the tilt off the desk. <laughs> dude, what was the criteria for the submission? Why did you know. choose these? I mean, we didn't really have criteria. It was just... It you was, just chose whatever you felt yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, and I saw that he made an effort to post dude. his battle station, and like, I was like... That <laughs> HP laptop, dang. I like it. Run those. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, I, not to talk crap on like his setup, but like, mm -hmm. damn. That's, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> like the know. water bottle in the back, man, that's for uh, emergency water cooling. Yeah. <laughs> Throw it on there. Uh, yeah. You might not ever see your laptop oh, again, man. but uh, yeah. <laughs> I like it. Thank you so much for that submission. It was a, it's that was a pretty fun <laughs> one. Got us some pretty good laughs. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving on to our Twitter submissions, our last two. Our, we got multiple mm -hmm. images from uh, at Miss. Nisupua FIN. I don't oh. know if I'm saying your name right, but this yes. is a pretty nice setup. A ton of RGB. Yes, that's yeah. I was there's lots of lights attracted my eye at least. All and, right. uh, it looks good. Let me analyze this. <laughs> Do we have any more photos actually? Yeah, there is. Ooh, Maybe. I like this photo. Ooh. So check out. So the case is from Corsair. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly which model case that is, mm -hmm. but Corsair does make some pretty nice cases. Mm -hmm. um, we actually work very closely with Corsair here at Gigabyte. Yeah. We have a lot of friends there, so we don't always we do like you know co-promotion, co-branding nice. together as companies. So it's pretty cool to see our hardware together yeah, from a fan. I like it. Um, I like his RGB fans. Oh, yeah. RGB fans. Of course, you can never have too much RGB. Mm -hmm. And oh, it wow. looks like he's using... He's using our motherboard, too? Yeah. Oh. Okay. My guess <laughs> is that he's using a X470 Aorus Gaming 7 motherboard. Mm. And the reason why I think that is because the heatsink... I don't know if you can take a look. 
it's kind of hard to see, but like our X Force Lightning Gaming Seven has like these fin heat sinks, uh -huh. which look a little bit like visually different than our other motherboards. Mm. So I think yeah. he's using the Gaming Seven board, but mm -hmm. I always could be wrong because my mm. eyes deceive me. Your cable management is on point. <laughs> like, there's no cables. In there. I don't, um, <laughs> he makes the cables invisible. Yeah, That's how good, good job. Um, he's got those white cable extensions, right? Just yeah. to make it look a little bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. And wow. nice choice of graphics card. Mm -hmm. Actually, can I go to a previous photo? <laughs> yeah. I think the first photo was like, yeah, dude, he has a custom backplate. Ooh. Is that something that he built himself? Wow. Oh, that's so know. cute. <laughs> yeah, it's like a smiley face on there, yeah. too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, wow. I wonder, hey, if you're watching this right now, let us know where you got that backplate from or if yeah. it's something that you made yourself. Because mm -hmm. I think, I want to see where we can get our hands on that. Ooh. Maybe we can like, get some, maybe do a giveaway for our viewers out there, right? Uh -huh. That would be a good giveaway. Mm -hmm. I'd like to enter that. <laughs> That's actually a very interesting submission. Let's, yeah. let's bookmark this one. Yeah, okay. Let's save it. <laughs> I will. And our last submission via Twitter is by... At Petty Fixes. Petty Fixes. Mm -hmm. Tons of RGB as well. <laughs> I like RGB. And the color scheme is really pretty here. Yeah. It's like a very makes you happy kind of feel. So, like, yeah. Um, That's looks, his PC on the right, correct? I'm assuming so because. Then, yeah, the, he, just definitely a PC on the right. Mm -hmm. but what's on the left? That also kind of looks like a PC as well. Is it? He only has one monitor yeah. though, so I'm yeah. like, hmm, what is that? Mm. Maybe he just has some extra RGB fans laying around, so mm, he made a maybe little... Maybe it's a personal a fan. Person. <laughs> Gotta be uh, summer nights, summer <laughs> days, right? It's mm -hmm. been pretty hot here recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that it's coordinated with his actual PC. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a setup like that. Yeah. Let's see if we can inspect the hardware oh. i can't quite see is that a corsair case a corsair case yeah. again okay. yeah corsair makes some pretty good cases mm -hmm. oh actually no i think that is a pc check that out on the on the left right there that's a corsair i think logo. that's a corsair logo so that's a pc case so yeah. he has two, two pcs two PC for PC one setup. monitor wow oh how's that work i don't know interesting wow. i wonder what yeah i wonder what use cases wow. he uses that for yeah oh it's nice cable i can't see a single cable except for <laughs> that one I'm that like, one cable, that the one cable yeah. yeah. I'm so amazed at some of these submissions because I'm so bad with cable management. Like, uh. I can, I like, <laughs> it's a mess. <laughs> and like, I, I, I try to organize it and I try to like zip tie them together and whatnot, yeah. but then it's just a crumbled up mess. <laughs> yeah. Cable management is always like, I mean, it looks super awesome when yeah. you do it, but it's like, it's always very intimidating, right? Yeah. Because it's a lot of work, a lot mm -hmm. of like time spent, but, mm -hmm. um, I think for the people who can pull it off, yeah. like, man, they do a it great job. It looks amazing, like this one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Come I on. always watch, like, like do-it-yourself life hack, like, videos on cable <laughs> management. I'm always like, I'm going to do that. That's great. And, you know, I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you guys want to see a live stream of Lindsay doing some cable management, no. leave comments down below. No, it's we'll be pressure terrible. her into doing something for you guys' just gonna, enjoyment. Oh, God. That would be interesting. No. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, that cool. wraps it up for our Rate My Battle Station segment. Mm -hmm. yeah. We had a total of six submissions this, well, we actually had a ton of submissions. Yeah, we but did. We chose um, six. Mm -hmm. So this is our first time doing this segment. If you guys do like it, maybe we can do more of these in the future. Mm -hmm. So you guys out there in the community have an opportunity to kind of show off your setup for this show. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll kind of... Lindsay and I will take a look at it and kind of just do like our genuine reactions yep. and our general impressions and kind of, you know, talk all about all the good things that you have going on for your setup mm -hmm. or the bad things in terms of H and P laptops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, I liked it. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was mm -hmm. not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Good comedic relief. Okay. So, yeah, that wraps up the user submission part of this video. I think we're going towards the end of Oris TV. Mm -hmm. um, but before we end things off, I actually forgot that we had one more giveaway we item. We do have one more giveaway item, and it's a, it's a big one. A big one. A big one. A big one. So... This is the first time this has had made an appearance on the show. Yeah. What is it? It is our Oris K9 keyboard. Oris K9 keyboard. Check it out right here. Ooh. So this is an optical gaming keyboard. If you guys aren't familiar with optical technology, um, basically it uses it uses light to measure to register your keystrokes. 
Yeah. So it's a little bit. Uh, how do I say it? Instead of using a physical actuation, it mm. uses light again to regi register Ooh. that key press. Benefit of using light of optical technology is that you get much better response rate mm. because hey, speed of light you can't beat that, right? <laughs> and um, you get waterproofing, so you can actually submerge this into a tank of water. There's no electrical uh, contact, so there's nothing for water to damage because again, it's all being um, measured through light. Oh, so wow. light can travel underwater, so you can. Technically, spill on it? yeah, you can spill on this. That's like the practical reasons for it. And I think we have a video somewhere out there on YouTube where we put this into like a fish tank, oh, and like it still survives. Okay. But oh, um, wow. if you guys want to see more of that, you can just find it on Google. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh wow, so, that's cool. How can our viewers win this keyboard? You can win this keyboard by going to our Facebook page and sharing this post, as well as uh, if you look at the description box below, you'll see a Gleam link, and all you have to do is click register, and you're all set to have a chance of winning either this, mm -hmm. uh, the M3 mouse with the AMP500 mouse pad, as Where's well as uh, right here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the mouse. Yeah, and uh, our first giveaway was with the Oris t-shirt along mm -hmm. with the Oris hoodie. Yep. So we have a ton of great prizes again for this show. Um, all you guys have to do is just um, follow what Lindsay said, mm -hmm. enter to the link below, mm -hmm. share this post, mm -hmm. and then we'll have an announcement next Friday on our social media pages. So you guys can mm -hmm. come check back in to see if you guys won the prizes. Yep. Um, this is the fourth episode. So we've had three sets of winners before. So we've had nine winners yeah. now. Um, so hopefully if you guys are lucky, you guys can be 10, 11, 12 in terms of winners. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so nice. yeah, I think that's, that's, uh, <laughs> that wraps it up in terms of prizes. Mm -hmm. I think what we can do now for the show is just kind of go in and find out some questions, uh, mm -hmm. answer some questions we yep. have from the community before we wrap things up oh, here. Oh, sounds good. A question from Matt H about this keyboard. He asked what the actuation feels like. Mm. Um, this actually mimics a Cherry MX Blue actuation. You kind of see the sticker here. Um, so this is the Oris K9 Blue. That means this is the clicky version. We also have a red version available online. Red is a little bit less clicky, mm -hmm. but I think technically it's a little bit faster. Oh, okay. Um, so it's kind of up to personal preference. But the one we're offering today is going to be the Blue Actuation Oris K9. Yep. Nice. Uh, I do right. believe in the past I, uh, I saw someone ask when we're going to make Oris monitors. Oris monitors. Ooh, that's you have very good information. <laughs> we actually haven't done an official announcement in terms of monitors yet, mm -hmm. um, but we'll have. They are in the works. Um, we're currently designing their specs as well as Ooh. their product design, so the actual design of the monitors. Mm -hmm. But nothing's finalized yet. That's why we haven't put out any official information. Oh, okay. But. Um, as far as I know, they should be out towards the end of 2018. Oh. So maybe expect to hear something more more solid maybe around November or December. Hopefully yeah. earlier, hopefully earlier. But uh, right now, our headquarters is working on that. Cool. So um, again, I can't share too much information, but it's just we're still working on it. Okay. Yes. That's cool. Monitors are always nice. Yes, definitely. <laughs> monitors and, oh, by the way, they are going to be gaming monitors as well. Um, we're going to hit 144 hertz refresh rates. Um, we're <laughs> trying to hit G-Sync panels. Um, of course, RGB as well, you know? Mm, so it's going to be very, is always nice. <laughs> very solid um, options as far as gaming monitors go. Mm. All right. All right. I'm trying to read through these comments. Yeah. We're just viewing our mm -hmm. um, comments on our t Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube pages. Um, actually, mm -hmm. I have a uh, comment from one of our viewers on YouTube. Okay. Pro Bauer. He asks, will there be a 4K monitor? And okay. again, I can't confirm anything yet, but mm -hmm. I think um, we have planned, we do have a 4K monitor plan in the works. Um, I think it's going to be a 4K 60 FPS. Ooh. Uh, or sorry, 4K 60 Hertz. Um, so this is going to be more for like um, people who want to play those high resolution yeah. games, right? Mm. Right. Reading through the <laughs> RGB monitor. <laughs> RGB monitors. Are they gonna be RGB? <laughs> of course, of course. Everything's RGB, man. Everything's better in RGB. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I know uh, there's a lot of fans out there who like RGB, but if you guys don't like it, we always have the option to turn it off. Yeah. So that way your eyes aren't not always like filled with crazy colors. Mm -hmm. We're your new co-host. How and when did you get into gaming? Oh, that's all you. That's an interesting yeah. question. <laughs> um, I've been gaming since I was like three, and um, she's like seven right now. So only for like four years. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I I've been gaming since I was three. I think it was three. Um, my mom actually bought me a Super Nintendo, in hopes to improve my hand-eye coordination because she wanted me to get into golfing or tennis, like a sophisticated sport that involved hand-eye coordination. Uh -huh. Little did she know that. I would actually hate both of those things as a child, and I actually became a gamer. Yeah. And uh, I've been playing Nintendo games. I remember I had a Sega Saturn. My dad bought a Sega Saturn. I was, like, yeah, it was great. And then uh, I was uh, hooked on like, you know, R R RPGs, and mm -hmm. then, uh, and then I switched over to PC gaming maybe around two thousand like seven. So, seven. so that's like what, 11 years ago? Yes. So you've been playing PC games for 11 years now. Yeah. And have you always like planned on being like a streamer or like a competitive player? Oh, no. I, I'm, I never actually had the hopes of becoming a pro because like it just it didn't really interest me as much. But um, I actually got into streaming much, much later. I didn't know that you can stream until like 2009. Yeah, that's right. I yeah. think back then streaming wasn't such a big deal. Yeah, it wasn't big. It was mostly like just uploading your video gameplay on like YouTube or something. And like, those Call yeah. of Duty 360 no scope yeah. montages. Remember <laughs> those? those. <laughs> and um, I, you know, I, I, I would watch like walkthroughs if uh -huh. I was stuck and. Uh, you know, um, I didn't know about streaming until maybe 2000, I didn't, yeah, 2009, and then I didn't actually build my first legitimate PC until like 2015, 16, and then... So not that long ago, huh? Yeah, and wow. I've, I've learned a lot about it. I've upgraded it after building it. Mm -hmm. My one friend actually did most of the work. I just watched, <laughs> and then... <laughs> just watched. And then, this, yeah, this. and then... Um, uh, when I upgraded, it was when I that was my first time yeah. actually hands on like unscrewing, carefully placing things, and you know, and then it was it cool. was interesting, yeah. Cool. So. And now that you're here at Gigabyte, you're mm -hmm. probably gonna be building many many more PCs, right? Yeah, I've heard, so I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we build tons of PCs every mm -hmm. week because we ship them out to different shows, gaming shows like PAX West, which mm -hmm. will be at at the end of September. Yeah. Or no, end of August. August. Yes, August. August. Sorry, I'm mixing up my dates here. <laughs> Me too. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Life is kind of like a blur in here. Yeah. Because she and I were just stuck in front of the camera all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But we'll be there. Yeah. You guys yeah. can see us at PAX West. Um, you guys can meet Lindsay in person. Yeah. She's actually quite yeah. mean. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just totally kidding. Whoa. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, we have a viewer from Twitch. He asks, or his name is Tasdom. He asks, what was your first graphics card? Oh, my. My first graphics card was in the AM MSI graphics card. Oh, I'm sorry! You traitor! You traitor! <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it was a 960. Uh -huh. um, I, 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 I don't know. The numbers might be wrong. But, <laughs> um, I, I'm trying to think back to my first graphic card now. Yeah. I think I, back in the day, it was a long time ago. I think I built my first PC when I was like in fourth grade. Oh. I was using a AMD, or not, no, it wasn't AMD. It was ATI Radeon. 9600 XT, Ooh. super, 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 super old, <laughs> really old. I think over 10 years ago now. And I think I still have that graphic card somewhere in my house. Mm. It was like the PC that me and my dad put together. Oh, cool. He, like he taught me how to build PCs, so that was the yeah. first graphic card that I was lucky enough that he chose for me. Mm -hmm. So I still remember that. I still yeah. have it. That's cool. Um, okay. I have a question from Thomas D. He asked. When can we expect new Oris cases? Well, we just had an update from our product managers um, in Taiwan last week. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of new exciting Oris cases in the works. Um, unfortunately, I don't have designs to share with you, but I can share some specs. Okay. Basically, they're going to take the current case, 
and they're going to upgrade it with tempered glass. <sighs> so right now we have an acrylic side panel, <laughs> but moving forward, we're going to have a tempered glass side panel. Nice. So advantage to tempered glass is that it's just more durable. Mm -hmm. uh, there's less scratches on the side. Yeah. So um, that means it'll hold up better over time. Wow. And of course, tempered glass, it just looks much nicer, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my case is not tempered glass. It's pretty scratched up, so that yeah. sounds nice. Yes, <laughs> and I think we're gonna also flesh out the product lineup a little bit more. We're gonna have a full ATX tower. Mm -hmm. um, right now we have our mid tower case, which mm -hmm. is just like a standard size. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a full tower, which is much bigger, Ooh. fit more hardware, fit nice. more cables. Um, also, we're gonna have a mini ITX case as well, oh, like a small form nice. factor one. Okay. So we can fit in like smaller motherboards, smaller graphic card. Mm -hmm. So just if you want that smaller footprint PC mm -hmm. and still want a lot of power. So those are in the works. I think from what I heard from the product manager, they're going to be available maybe October or November of this year. So a little bit down the road, we'll have more official announcements mm -hmm. or official information to share with you guys um, pretty soon. So just stay tuned for our Facebook page. Yes. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's see what other comments we have. Let's see. Um, Thomas D asked if he can change the current side panel of the AC300W to the tempered glass uh, side panel. Mm. Um, off the top of my head, I'm going to say no to that yeah. because tempered glass, we're going to have those screws uh, um, going on to the side, you know, to the side panel. Mm -hmm. So you'll probably have to do some heavy modifications in order to make it work, but um, I'd probably just recommend you just upgrade to the newer tempered glass case once it's available. Mm -hmm. um, Jonathan, Jonathan S. asks, what RGB strips are we using behind us? Oh. So those PCs are just using some, some generic RGB strips, but if you're talking about that, that cool light in the back, that's actually from a company called Nanoleaf. Oh. And that thing is completely customizable, completely changeable. I know in the camera right now it's a little bit overexposed, mm -hmm. so you just see it's white, but mm -hmm. if you guys see it in real life, it's actually like a very vibrant green right mm -hmm. now. And you can change it, and you can do different yeah. modes. Yeah. It goes to like your music and everything. Ooh. So it's pretty cool. That is cool. Yeah. Cool. Hopefully that's the one you're talking about. But if you're talking about the ones on the PC, those are just some generic RGB strips we bought off Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, for sure. Like and we... Any, any other interesting questions you can find, Lindsay? I could not... I have one more, actually. One more comment oh. from Jonathan S., same guy. Okay. He says we should make RGB chairs. <laughs> Be pretty, uh, RGB everything. Hmm. That's, that's the goal, right? That's the goal. Sarah Sarah W says that as well. RGB chairs. How would that work? I have no idea. <laughs> I think I think um, I don't know actually. Yeah, I don't know how RGB chairs would work. I don't know what's the use case for that, but mm. if enough of you guys request it, we can always collect your guys' feedback, mm -hmm. forward it over to our product managers back in headquarters back in Taiwan, and see what they can do with it. Positive comments. <laughs> Kyle S. asked uh -huh. if we can do a waterproof monitor <laughs> to go along with our waterproof keyboard. That makes sense. <laughs> I, <laughs> you don't know about that. I, I, just... I, 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 I spill a lot at my desk, so you know, sometimes let's just the do possibility a, that... Let's just do a complete <laughs> underwater PC, you know, play at the pool, a yeah. pool party or something. Mm -hmm. No idea. Cool. So I think that wraps it up for Q&A. Um, mm -hmm. If you guys have more questions for us, you can always leave it in the comments below. Mm -hmm. um, Lindsay and I will probably go back in and answer you guys via text mm -hmm. to the Oris page. We'll still be around, um, just we have to wrap things up here in person. Mm -hmm. But before we go, um, I just want to remind you guys about the prizes. Um, Lindsay announced some really, really awesome prizes yep. for this show. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to do one more quick refresh of everything we have? Yes. Uh, for after We will be giving away an Oris t-shirt mm -hmm. along with an Oris hoodie. It's on my hoodie. Here. And um, we'll also be giving away the M3 mouse 
along with the AMP500 mouse pad in yes. combination with the mouse. Yes. And then our final giveaway for today is the K9 keyboard. This is like the biggest thing we have <laughs> for today's episode. Mm -hmm. Really cool stuff. Yeah. Completely waterproof, <laughs> optical technology, really nice. fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you haven't already, you should you can share the post mm -hmm. via Facebook, mm -hmm. and you can go to navigate your way through the description box and click on the gleam, and you enter that way. Simple, simple, easy. Yeah. And you're into easy. and you're into win either one of these prizes. Yes. Oh, that's good. So we'll do official announcements on the giveaway winners next Friday on our social media platform. So all you guys have to do is just come check back to see if you've won these giveaways. Mm -hmm. So I think having said all of that, that probably wraps up today's show. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, one more thing before we go. Okay. One thing I want to talk to the viewers about um, the earlier segment we did, mm -hmm. the user submissions. Yes. Um, we took a look at a ton of different submissions of uh, users' battle stations. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys like that segment, let us know in the comments below, and mm -hmm. then we can do it again for the next Oris TV live stream. Mm -hmm. And we'll probably choose some more battle stations to feature on our show. So if you guys want to have a chance to have your build featured on Oris TV, um, let us know in the comments below. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So again, thank you to all the viewers out there who joined us on today's episode. We're going to have our next episode two weeks from now, which will be on August 10th? 10th. Yeah, 10th. August 10th. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to tune back in during that date, we'll have some more giveaway prizes to announce. Mm -hmm. We'll have some more game news, some more mm -hmm. tech news, mm -hmm. some more user submissions maybe. Mm -hmm. And then um, you'll see more of Lindsay and me. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this show. Yeah. Lindsay, what was your overall impression? This was, yeah, this is fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah she I, was, I was nervous in the beginning, I'm not going to lie. You guys would probably tell, could, have, could have told. Nah, that's okay. I, I, think, but, uh, I think you did perfect. Okay, thank you. I think you did perfect. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have more shows coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, but in the meantime, uh, my name is Ben from Ors. And I'm Lindsay from Ors. And we'll see you guys next time. guys are actually here and you're like yeah try this try that do this do that you're giving us tips you're educating us on how it actually works gigabyte yeah. has reached out to us and they're like hey we kind of want to teach you guys how to build pcs this is something that you're interested in and we're just like i think that's something the overall community can benefit from